Hey guys, I am here to show my herb, garlic herb, plant-based butter. That's absolutely delicious. Um, I guarantee you, once you start trying to mix your favorite spices and this combination together, you'll always make a batch. So up first, let me show you. I have tried different varieties, but um, I found this Earth Balance avocado oil and it's three ingredients. So um, this one is great for sauteing and, um, and good in many recipes, um, especially if you um, are, uh, you know, uh, pan searing uh, different vegetables and things instead of olive oil, which we uh, know that's not great with high heat. Something like this is a great alternative and it gives your dish flavor like butter. Believe me, it does. Give it a try. I purchased mine from my local Meyer. Um, I haven't seen it in a lot of stores, but check it out. See if you can find it. So basically, I have used some of this, but it's still basically full. So I'm trying to use a full one and I let it sit out to get room temperature. And I, this time, mixed a combination of spices I wanted to use here, which I'll show you. Let me flip this camera around so you can see. So there are a variety of spices and I'll name those. And um, what I try to do is use organic for the most part. Um, so what I have here is, I'll start with the organic ingredients, which is a, just a pinch of sage, thyme, oregano, cilantro, and then the non-GMO items I have in here is basil, onion powder, granule, granules, and the same with garlic uh, and parsley. So um, you can put whatever you want, um, but the combination is great. Um, at holiday times, I may um, do a more of a sage um spin on my um butter for like my turkey and um is great on like um as if you're a meat eater um <laughs> cornish hen so basically what i do is um oh and the main ingredient let me show you is minced garlic before i forget um these this is organic and basically i take a nice heaping uh, tablespoon about and, and put in here. So I'm gonna use my spatula um, and add it to here. So I'm gonna turn my camera around to see if I can get this showing. Okay, you should be able to see, I believe I have my, uh, my plant-based butter positioned correctly. And so I'm just gonna take a heaping amount of this garlic. Now I may use more, you can use less if you want, but um, I like mine very garlicky. And I do use some of this juice from the uh, container in here. So basically I put that in there. I take my herbs that I have here and pour that all in here. Very easy to make. And once these all infuse together, you just get this in here and you just mix it all together. And um, once they all mix together, they are really, this, this butter just takes on a whole nother spin of flavor. So I'm gonna get this thoroughly mixed in. I may switch to uh, a stronger tool to mix this and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, just wanted to show you, you wanna take 
a few minutes and make sure you whip this up really good and you reach all the way to the bottom and you end up with this and you can start cooking with it right away and um, I try to get all of this off of my favorite little spatula here uh, just perfect for small containers and um, this butter is delicious it's great on vegetables like asparagus brussels sprouts fish all kinds of things you can just lather it up and not worry about the the, the um what butter could cause <laughs> the clogging of the arteries and things like that so this is absolutely delicious and i love that it comes in this resellable container so all i gotta do is snap it on and it's good to go back in the fridge so that was my plant-based butter herb garlic mixture so since i have you i want to show you one other little quick uh spin that i use for this butter because i typically will buy two uh, i'll take um probably a nice portion of this for one of my little mason jars. And guess what I'm gonna make with this one? I used to make <laughs> my garlic herb butter in this, but it would go so fast because of how small this is. And because I don't eat a lot of what I'm about to show you, I use a smaller container. So this is gonna be cinnamon butter. Yes. <laughs> Great on raisin bread, bagels, all that good stuff. Just toast. And basically, I put a nice heaping size amount in my small mason jar. And um, because I'm in Michigan, I just use just a little squirt of some raw honey in mine. Vegan people, you can use maple syrup. And... Um, and that just gives it a little sweetness to it. So like I said, I'm only using about that much. Just a small, tiny squirt. So that could be maybe a teaspoon. And I'm going to use about a little over a teaspoon of agave in this. You can use more if you like. And the main ingredient, which I thought I had taken out, which I do have out, is some cinnamon. Now I usually use organic cinnamon, but I ran out and so 365 is a brand that I commonly will use for non-GMO products. So the amount of cinnamon you put in is more of a taste preference i use probably a half a tablespoon i'll say a half a tablespoon some people may think that's too much but um that's what i like to do so i open the um and, and you know i don't use measuring spoons for the most part um i kind of gauge by eye but um just basically gonna pour about that much in here so like so and then basically just really mix it thoroughly and add it to the fridge and um, when that um, honey and that agave agave I'm sorry um, mixes with this butter it is absolutely delicious on bread bagels, things like that. There could be some other things I'm not even thinking about that you can use this for, but it's absolutely delicious. Another thing, sometimes I will put ginger in this. Um, so I may do that, but just wanted to show you that. And what I like most is it's in this pretty jar that seals it real tightly and uh, it stays fresh. So I hope you enjoy these mixes of plant-based butter to put a spin on your meals.
Bye now. Keep it healthy.